Hey everybody, this is Dave Dugdale, learning DSLRvideo.com. A few days ago I went skiing and I took my camera with me and I was trying to see the LC back of the LCD display and I just couldn't see it with direct sunlight, light bouncing off the snow. You know, when I take pictures and I want to chimp to see if I got, I'm in focus, got the right exposure, or if I'm shooting video, I just, you just can't see anything. So I remembered uh, a while back, I watched a video by Noptop and he created a, a little cheap uh, DIY. Uh, this one cost me about eight bucks total, which is pretty amazing. Um, and what you do is basically put this on the back of your camera and use little ties right here and you've got yourself kind of a very inexpensive loop and then you can adjust, you know, exposure, focus, and you can get your composition right. So I talked to Noptop and he told me about going to Harbor Freight Tools to pick up a box set of loops for about $5. I then picked up black spray paint for about $3 and it's made just for plastic. I then found an old baby powder container. If you can believe it, it's from 1985. Next up, I had to figure out which loop would work the best. Noptop was right, and they all fit perfectly inside the container. I used the earmuffs from an old pair of podcasting headphones that I just hated and I never used anymore. Uh, and the earmuffs worked perfectly fitting around the uh, baby powder container. Back to figuring out which loop would work the best, I tried the 3X and it worked perfectly right off the bat but I wanted the viewfinder shorter. I marked the side of the baby powder container to find out which lens would have the length that I needed for the viewfinder. I did this for all of them, three through 10X. The 10X made the viewfinder the shortest, but then I was kind of concerned if it was too short that I wouldn't be able to see in the entire screen when I put my eye up to it. So I marked the outer edges of this piece of paper, as you can see, and I found that the 5X was the one that filled the frame the best and was the shortest. I then measured the 5X height and marked it on the container. I tried cutting it with scissors like Noptop did, but it didn't work very well for me, so I used a utility blade. And I used the blue tape as a guide, just as Noptop suggested. I cleaned out the rough edges so the loop would fit a little bit better. I painted it black. Using a hot glue gun, then I glued the loop in place and then flipped it over and added more glue. The blue tape was protect the, the loop from getting goo into the lens. I put my earmuff on and tie wrapped it in place. I had this idea to add chopsticks to make the frame a little bit more rectangular in shape, but it didn't work very well. And actually the container uh, frame size uh, works pretty well. Um, and I had a little tape so it wouldn't scratch the screen. I added some hair ties uh, to loop over the um, top of the camera and around the bottom, and I was all done. All right, that's pretty much it. And by the way, I've got a few free bonus videos that I'm not putting here on YouTube, but I'm putting on my website. So definitely go to my website, um, sign up for the bonus videos, and you will get them pretty much instantly. All right, talk to you guys later. Bye.